Hi, everyone, and uh, welcome. Can you believe that we are on day seven of our calendar already? We are speeding along. So before we put the star on day seven, let's have a look to see what day seven has to offer. So there we are. We're on block number seven, and our picture for today is... Oh, can you see what that is? That looks to be like a bush or a tree that's on fire. Huh, we'll have to find out what that has to do with our story. So let's move our star on top of our burning bush and let's have a look at our story for today. Abraham had a son named Isaac. And Isaac had a son named Jacob. And Jacob had a son named Joseph, who saved God's people from famine by bringing them to Egypt. And when the famine was over, Joseph and his brothers didn't follow God out of Egypt. Neither did their children or their children's children or their children's children's children. And even though God's family was now bigger than ever, they were about to be in trouble because a new king began to rule in Egypt. This king was very mean to God's people. He made them his slaves. All day long, they work, work, worked. They didn't get snack breaks or time to play or anything. God's people felt alone, crushed. So they cried out to God, where are you? We need you. God heard their cries. God saw their trouble. And God's heart was breaking over all of it, especially how God's people felt all alone. He would find a way to be with them again. And God picked a man named Moses to rescue his people. Moses knew all about slavery, but he had tried to rescue God's people once before, and it didn't work. So he'd given up. But now he was in the wilderness watching sheep instead, until one day he walked by a bush, not just any bush, mind you, but a bush that was on fire, and it didn't burn up. When Moses got closer, God started talking to him. I know my people are suffering and alone, he said. I hear their cries, I see their chains, their slavery ends now. Moses thought that was good news, but he wasn't sure what he had to do with it. Then God said, Moses, you're going to be the one to tell Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. You're going to say, let my people go. Moses was scared. Pharaoh could hurt him, even kill him. God knew Moses was scared, so he gave him an important promise. I'll be with you the whole time. So Moses told Pharaoh everything God had said. Pharaoh didn't want to let God's people go first, but then God started sending Pharaoh horrible plagues. God turned the Nile into blood, but Pharaoh didn't listen. So God sent more plagues. He made frogs cover the land, and after that, he sent gnats to cover the frogs, and after that, sickness. Oh, no. Sickness and horrible boils all over. Looks good, doesn't it? God used Moses to warn Pharaoh, but Pharaoh didn't listen. So God used Moses to warn Pharaoh about one last plague. Let God's people go, or the firstborn son in every family will die. God also used Moses to warn God's people, listen closely. Every family needs to take a lamb, kill it, and put the blood on the doorposts. This way, when God visits tonight, he'll see the blood and pass over your house. Sure enough, that night, many people died, including Pharaoh's own son. Finally, Pharaoh told God's people, you aren't my slaves anymore. Go. God's people were free at last. 
for years to come, even when it was hard, even when they wandered in the wilderness, even when they weren't sure what was going to happen next, they remembered how God had saved them from slavery in Egypt. But as the years went on and on, people stopped remembering. They had plenty of reasons to remember, but they thought about other things instead. They thought about how strong they were and about how they didn't want to be in the wilderness anymore. And they started to miss Egypt. And it led them back to the same old problem. Do you know what it is? God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Moses and God's people began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back to stay? Well, we'll have to find out what happens next tomorrow. So join us then. So the resource we've been using is The King is Coming by Advent Blocks. Check them out on www.adventblocks.com for a great Christmas resource.